Okay, here you can see I have that rear tube in place. It's now tack welded on the front and back, and I heated it just like I explained in the previous video. So there really is no warping in that wing tube whatsoever. Uh, and, I, and I came down, that's tacked, so we're good to go. So the next step, and, and this is just really gets to be repetitive at, at some point, but um, you know, these go in next. Now, I already fitted them and tack welded the, the bottoms. And the tops are just floating there. Okay. Because I want to make sure that before I start attacking that wing tube, that any amount of pressure I create from heat has been reduced to a minimum. So by tack welding this first and just letting this float, you can see it can still wiggle it. Okay. I'm not really putting too much pressure on this, on this wing tube. I don't want to warp this. I really want to keep this as straight as I can get it or parallel to the center line of the aircraft. Okay, so uh, fitting it was pretty easy. If you can kind of see, I know it's difficult, but this edge, it, it lays right in there. And, and how I did that was nothing magical. Um, I basically just guessed at the angle. So I had a straight tube here, and I just kind of looked at the angle. I took it on my disc grinder which I keep next to me at all times. Every, everywhere I go, I move my disc grinder around, okay? You can just see, I had to build some feet because the previous guy built this out of particle board, which was a big mistake. And the ends got kind of goofy, so I just threw some two by fours on the bottom and built another base, but um, I, I drag it around. You know, if, if I'm gonna be working, well, say over here, I'll drag it right next to me. That way it's just handy, less movement. But uh, I just ground kind of an angle. I set it up there and said, ooh, I should take off a little more. Just sander, boom, fixed it. And then it kind of fit well. And then I just let the ends fly along. I let it go past. Okay. Now, obviously, if it's past, in its final form, it'll want to lay down more, which will change this angle. But, you know, you're going to kind of look at this and say, hey, I, I totally see what, what's going on here. And, and you'll adjust accordingly. Uh, there's nothing complicated about this. I've said this before, this fuselage, in the realm of airplanes, this is almost child play. I mean, th this fuselage is that simple. There's just nothing complicated about it. Um, I mean, I've been working on this for a week, about a week and two days, a week and three days maybe. Um, if you take away building the table and the jigs and just, you know, the actual fuselage itself, I got a, less than 15 hours into this. So, I mean, there's no reason not to build a few slides yourself. I mean, this is just as easy as it gets, you know. So, uh, but that's that. So, I'm going to focus on that, and I'm going to tack weld that in, okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these angle pieces in that go back to here, okay. And then I'm going to have to come to grips with the fact that i got to cut this out. You know, I kind of marked it there. I might go in a little further. But I don't want to go too far because this this is a somewhat of a severe angle. And so the tubing probably will come out to here, I'm guessing, by the time I'm done with that angle. So I'm already pretty close to here. And then uh, maybe I'll weld a little cap on here and make it look good, maybe at an angle or something. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at.